the safety treatment of children dear colleagues please be patient a bit i will try to be very brief without historic references the first slide is the history establishment of our institute i'll just want to mention that in 1989 in august there was the the Institute of Pediatric Oncology and Hematology was organized, headed by uh, Lev Durnov. Now, Institute consists of uh, 12 units. Uh, they have uh, the first uh, bone marrow transplantation unit. We have rehabilitation unit that is located uh, in uh, uh, the village of Lipki in the region of Moscow. The first step that we do uh, working with parents is information. At the level of admission office, we start working with parents. Uh, together with informed consent, we give to parents uh, the number, the list of products uh, that they can bring in our institute to feed our uh, their children with the favorite products. Also, children who are admitted to us and adolescents, uh, they need uh, attention, they need empathy, and it's uh, the key points in work or in our department, in our unit. Uh, first, it's information. During treatment, a doctor, in a simple form, is to inform about all the prescriptions, uh, the necessity of these or that additional examination. Parents sometimes they feel guilty uh, of uh, the uh, guilty because of their ill child. Uh, they started to feel pity for children. Uh, they think that we uh, inflict pain to children. Our task as a doctors is to put across the information that all the prescriptions are done for the sake of children, for the benefit of children. All the information about, uh, f about diet, about treatment is made by the doctor. The doctor uh, shoulders responsibility for this. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's not complied with, uh, the treatment may be unsuccessful. Five pillars working with our children. The first, it's infectious safety. I prepared some funny slides to relax the atmosphere after this uh, difficult day. On the first place, it's uh, the main pillar hygiene of infectious uh, safety. Hand hygiene is a general term. Uh, when we wash our hands from contamination of microflora, resident or transitory. Uh, nurse is to explain uh, the just washing of hands uh, uh, from the uh, treatment with um, antiseptics. It's very important to change clothes, to treat, uh, to care skin, to care mouth, to care uh, hair. It's very important how uh, it's very important to take care of the mouth. Uh, rinsing of mouth is to be done with the help of parents according to the prescription of a doctor, according to the algorithm prescribed by a doctor. Uh, if uh, the immunity is compromised, uh, the nurse is to explain one uh, the mask is uh, very necessary to wear. Uh, our parents, they have three changeable footwear, three sets of clothes, why? one for being in the ward, the second by moving around the hospital, and the third by going around uh, with a child for walking. It's very important to be sure that children and parents, uh, they wear um, cotton socks. Uh, toys are to be safe for children according to their weight, design, and science. So they have to comply with the specific features and characteristics and age of a child. Uh, the, uh, uh, some parts of um, 
uh, toys uh, they are in contact with the mouth are to be easily disinfected. A nurse explains to the parents how to treat uh, toys uh, one can't take uh, uh, if they are dropped on the floor they are to be uh, disinfected as to the washing of hands uh, we had a parent meeting and we asked parents how many times hands are washed and disinfected uh, before you approach a child different figures were mentioned and uh, when the information put across about the quality of hand washing and disinfection parents understood completely why do they need to do this infectious safety is developed for our young children uh, that are in the bone marrow department because here there is a sterile time when a patient is a sterile contained room from 10 to 20 days before admission the senior nurse is to communicate with parents she developed the certain uh, brochures for parents uh, that are given to parents together with informed consent uh, parents uh, they read to them calmly and uh, discuss some unclear information either to the senior nurse or uh, the nurse uh, station nurse it's important to educate people uh, how to take care of tracheostomic tube or a different type of catheters forms nasal catheters for oxygen supply you know that uh, uh, we have to educate parents how to manage the systems at home. The next part is drug safety. A nurse, while uh, talking to parents and discussing the medications that are prescribed by the doctor, explains uh, that uh, all these medications, they are prescribed only by the doctor and self-treatment is not tolerable. Such medication as uh, supplements, vitamins or herbs, uh, they can't be given to a child without doctor's prescription. Uh. Uh, we talk to parents, explain parents uh, how to take in drugs, how much water to be swallowed in, how to dose, how to store uh, the drugs. We explain why it's important to uh, be on time uh, coming from work for treatment. Children uh, in our hospital it, for children, it's very important to ensure food safety. On admission, a certain brochure or uh, client reminder is given to parents uh, what kind of products uh, are allowed to take in during chemotherapy. Uh, good diet, uh, proper food intake is very important to restore organs and tissues during the radiation treatment or chemotherapy. Uh, um, uh, Non-compliance with this may result in complications and negative adverse consequences. Food should contain uh, the minimal amount of live microorganism. It's very important to uh, fall, uh, to see the validity, the expiry dates uh, of the products, uh, how these products are to be stored, and also it's important to store products properly after um, opening. Uh, food uh, that is cooked by parents can be stored only for 12 hours. It's my responsibility. I go around the kitchen. I look at the fridges where the products are stored. I make comments uh, and try to um, correct the mistakes. Once again, we explain to parents why it should be done. Uh, why uh, expired products are to be thrown away and uh, the cooked food not to be stored for more than 12 hours. Uh, doctors of our units, so they developed a certain list of uh, allowed products, food, stuff. 
What else so we educate parents? It's uh, minimize the risk of falling down. Children, they are weak, but their children, they run around, uh, they ride uh, um, some devices. Uh, they are alive. Uh, they want to be um, agile. We discuss uh, this with the parents, how to move around uh, with the child uh, around the hospital. If a condition of a child is satisfactory and it's an adolescent, he's an adolescent, a child can go around on food but some children, they are transported on the wheelchair. A nurse is to educate parents how to move a child around in a wheelchair, not to bring harm. Uh, then if a child is transported on the trolley, uh, all the procedure is being explained uh, how to move a child from the trolley to the bed. Uh, if one person, transport a person, one hand is to be placed under the um, scapula, the second hand is to be placed under the neck and then uh, cash, uh, uh, cautiously to move the child from the trolley up to uh, on the bed. While uh, if a child very weak, we need uh, three persons. Usually it may be a nurse uh, who takes care that the head and the neck is safe. There are some points to minimize the risk of falling from the bed. Children are children. We save them with the safety grids, so say uh, we don't allow children to take objects from the floor. We ask parents to do this, and uh, uh, parents are to be uh, always uh, at the bedside. And the most severe things, it's a uh, suffocation in the bed when uh, the mother may just uh, uh, pull some pillows around uh, the head and may leave the ward and suffocation may happen. Uh, during the summer heat, it's falling down from the windows. Open are op windows are open. Children may uh, uh, can uh, climb up to the uh, window sill and uh, may fall down. We discuss this thing as well. And of course, uh, the falling down during hygiene procedure on the slippery floor. It's very important to take care of a child and save a child. Uh, during this uh, situation. It's very important to be next to children and nurses. They are on 24 hours at the children. They inform, they, uh, they discuss, they talk, they help the parents. Uh, thank you. Yekaterina Borisna. Are there any questions, colleagues? So the chief nurse of the pediatric department. <laughs> I have a question about kitchens. These are the things we are going to get rid of. Actually, we've got one pediatric department, but as the nutrition is good and uh, children are fed with special block, nutrition block, so how important is it? So we're not going to get rid of it because children have with their own nutritious habits. So taking into consideration that they are sick and if we deprive them of their favorite food, we will get negative reaction from their parents. And of course, we need to follow maximum sanitary regime. We've got responsible chief nurses who control and monitor the fridges, the kitchens, the condition of the utensils, uh, 
the products uh, parents br bring the with them. And of course, daily we control the drawers and all the other parts. Okay, I've got it. Thank you.